the B-21 Raider is poised to revolutionize the future of the Air Force Bomber Force. With its advanced stealth technology and advanced weapon systems, the B-21 is designed to be the most advanced bomber in the world. Capable of carrying a wide range of payloads and operating in any environment, the B-21 is set to become the backbone of the Air Force's long-range strike capabilities. As the Air Force continues to modernize its arsenal, the B-21 Raider is sure to play a crucial role in shaping the future of air power. Welcome to another episode of High Technology. Join the club as we unravel high-end technologies on the planet by subscribing to this channel and hitting the notification bell so you won't miss any exciting videos in the future. In this video, let's talk about the B-21 Raider which could it be the future of the Air Force Bomber Force. The Air Force's newest cutting-edge stealth bomber is the B-21 Raider. The B-2 Spirit, a flying wing design that costs over $2.2 billion per aircraft, served as inspiration for its design. Although stealth has significant tactical and strategic advantages, it also has a somewhat high barrier to entry. Only a small number of these bombers, 21 in all, were ordered due to the shift in defense priorities. They were created during the Cold War and delivered after the fall of the Soviet Union. The Air Force intends to purchase a large number of B-21s this time around, with intentions to purchase up to 100 of them. Because the principles of stealth and long-range penetrating air are based on the idea of a flying wing, the B-21 resembles the B-2 greatly. Furthermore, some of the first flying wings were actually developed by Jack Northrup for the YB-49 fighter. The B-21 is also the first updated component of the so-called nuclear triad, which also includes land-based nuclear weapons and ICBMs. The triad consists of nuclear-capable bombers and submarines with nuclear-tipped missiles. In the case of a nuclear conflict, even if one leg of the triad is unexpectedly destroyed, the other two can still respond. This Northrop bomber boasts a stealth covering from the space age. It has the capacity to fly without a pilot at some point. It is made to transport both conventional and nuclear weapons. The fleet of U.S. bombers is aging. The B-21 must perform admirably if the Air Force wants to stay ahead of the pack. The B-2 stands apart from other bombers thanks to its bit of skill. The radar cross-section or what is detected by radar, is kept much smaller than with non-stealthy aircraft thanks to the design of the aircraft and materials that are radar absorbent. The B-2 makes it easier to reach targets that would otherwise be considerably harder to reach by reducing the enemy's ability to see it. The B-2 can hit targets precisely, fly up to 6,000 miles without refueling, and remain undetected. The B-2 relies on computers to calculate its fly-by-wire system and maintain the stability of the flying wing design. A costly aircraft crashed in Guam in 2008 on takeoff when a moisture damage sensor caused a chain reaction of mistakes in the plane's flight control computers. Simply put, the stealth technology, avionics, logistics, and expense to maintain the B-2 program are out of date because it was started in 1976. A B-2 Spirit sustained damage in December 2022 while making an emergency landing. There isn't much information available regarding what this implies for the specific aircraft, but it might end up costing the Air Force a lot of money. This is just another factor in the Air Force's goal of triple-digit B-21 manufacturing numbers. It would decrease the impact on the Air Force if an aircraft was lost due to accidents or combat. For decades, the Air Force has been thinking about how to replace the B-2, B-1, and B-52 bombers. Supersonic bomber the B-1B Lancer is not allowed to transport nuclear bombs. Additionally, it requires a lot of maintenance and is deteriorating. The B-52 has also been in use ever since the beginning of the nuclear era. Before the final one is abandoned, they'll probably have been in use for more than 80 years. They'll probably work as a non-stealthy alternative to the B-21. Unbelievably, 
the B-52, which has been around for a very long time and will probably continue to fly well until its 100th birthday, will continue to fly alongside the B-21 Raider, largely because it is incredibly affordable and simple to maintain. As a result, the most sophisticated and cutting-edge stealth bomber the world has ever seen will be the bomber force of the future for the United States. Operating the B-2 is not a cheap operation. The average flight hour costs $150,000. The Air Force hopes to reduce that number for the B-21 with the help of contemporary logistics and knowledge gained from operating the Spirit. The Air Force has been able to leverage the digital environment made possible by commercial advancements to design aircraft more efficiently, with greater precision and functionality. This has allowed them to incorporate a greater level of adaptability into the aircraft architecture. China demonstrated a technology for fractional orbital blasting in 2021. It is unknown much about it, but it could offer China the ability to strike targets anywhere in the world quickly while also evading defenses, raising the question of whether purchasing stealth bombers is wise in the era of hypersonics. Therefore, you can spend $550 million on a single B-21 Raider that will be able to fly for the next 50 years while still delivering ammunition, or you can spend that same amount on five limited-use hypersonic missiles. Another worry is that the purchase order might be terminated by the U.S., which would raise the price per unit. The anticipated production quantities for other weapons programs, such the B-2 Spirit and the F-22 Raptor, would have distributed the program's cost across a larger number of purchases. Depending on how many are ordered, the B-21 could wind up costing as much as $753 million each unit. However, even that number will only be accurate if they actually purchase 100 or more as planned. Therefore, if we ultimately order 100 or 120, the B-21 might be significantly more affordable. Since the B-2 again was introduced starting in 1976, the effectiveness of enemy defenses has significantly risen. The S-400 and S-500 air defense systems from China and Russia are extremely powerful. They pose a serious threat. In order to provide them with advanced capabilities to remain ahead of threats, they will be able to change not only the airplane itself but also the mission systems that go in it as the threat evolves. Additionally, because non-stealth platforms are less resilient and therefore less effective for certain missions, it represents a significant cost reduction. Even if the B-52 is a less expensive aircraft, if you lose 30 of them on a mission, you will still lose a lot of money and time. When the B-21 enters service, it will likely be the healthiest aircraft ever to fly. In addition to delivering ammunition, the B-21 can gather intelligence to inform us of what is happening on the battlefield, potential enemy defenses, and their location. It is the nuclear triad's first component to undergo modernization. In a sense, these are living museums. The nuclear triad, which has offered security for many years, has to be updated. The B-21 is designed to be flexible. It employs an open design to enable easy adoption of new technologies, such as weapons developed in the future. They can evolve it on the order of days and weeks as opposed to months and years, as was the case with the B-2, thanks to its open design and software development. The B-21 has this integrated into its architecture, making it more durable over time while the B-2 has evolved to the current state of the art. Additionally, price was a key factor in its design. Theoretically, the B-21 might even obtain a bomber wingman with comparable capabilities that was built from the ground up to fly by itself. When the cost appeared to be too expensive, the Air Force initially proclaimed that and later withdrew it. But as time goes on, they might discover that it costs less to field that than more basic bombers. So that idea might perhaps have a comeback. As the Air Force looks to the future of its bomber force, the B-21 Raider is poised to play a crucial role. With its advanced stealth technology and advanced weapon systems, the B-21 is designed to be the most advanced bomber in the world, 
capable of operating in any environment and carrying a wide range of payloads. As the Air Force continues to modernize its arsenal, the B-21 Raider is sure to become the backbone of its long-range strike capabilities, leading the way into a new era of air power. So if you're looking to the future of the Air Force Bomber Force, keep an eye on the B-21 Raider, it's sure to be a game-changer.